Let's take a look at the calculations needed for our relative humidity lab. Let's use this as some sample data. Let's assume that our air temperature in the classroom was 24 degrees Celsius and the condensation was 12 degrees Celsius. Okay, so we know that the dew point in the classroom was 12 degrees. What we need to figure out is how much water was in the air at 24 degrees Celsius. So we'll take a look over here. You have this graph. It's both on the website and was uh, handed out in class. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at 24 degrees Celsius. Well, 25 is right here. 20 is right here. In the middle, we have 22 and a half. So 24 degrees Celsius is probably somewhere around right there. Okay, what we want to do is we want to find where that intersects our graph, intersects this line here. And we can see that if we move this to about right here, and we can look over on the left hand side of the graph and we can see that the amount of water that the air could hold at 24 degrees if it was full, if it was 100%, as it says right here, if it was 100%, it could hold about 21. Now we need to make sure that we include the units, 21 grams per cubic meter. So how much water could the air hold at 24 degrees Celsius? It could hold 21 grams per cubic meter. Okay, so this is how much it could hold if it were full. We know that it was not full. The dew point is 12 degrees Celsius. So we know at 12 degrees Celsius, once the air reached 12 degrees Celsius, it was full. I mean, this is our dew point. So we're going to look back in the same graph. So at 12 degrees, we're going to move this down. This is 12 and a half, so 12 degrees would be just a little inside of that. And we're going to move to where does that intersect our line? Okay, that intersects our line right about there. So over here, it looks like we are at about 10 grams per cubic meter, which means that the air was full with 10 grams per cubic meter of water at 12. Now we need to go to our math. We are going to try to find out what percent is 10 grams per cubic meter of 21 grams per cubic meter. And from math class, you may have learned that is over of is one way that we could set this up, or you may have learned that it goes part over whole. And these are all great ways to remember how to write this up. So we're going to write up 10 grams per cubic meter divided by 21 grams per cubic meter. Now in science, it is very important that we keep writing down these units. Science is not just about numbers. These numbers have meaning. And so we always make sure that we write down those units. OK, so we have 10 divided by 21. Next step is to enter that into our calculator. It's important that we know how to use our calculator correctly. We want to make sure that we do 10 divided by 21. We always want to work from our top down. Okay, 10 divided by 21 gives me 0.47619047619. That's a big number. We don't want to use all of that. We need to remember that this is going to be a percentage, so we need to look and move that decimal point over two places. So this should be 47.6190 going on percent, but we want to round just to the nearest whole number. So 47. Point six, that 6 will tell us to round up, so this would be 48% relative humidity.